You know what we're doing now, yeah? No, I'm talking about Hello YouTube, welcome to Jang's Oriental Food Workshop. Yes. Yes, me and mum, um, I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. I teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food. If you want to skip to the head to the re actual recipe, um, I'll put a timestamp below so you can just watch, well, just skip ahead. Anyway. Um, we are fun to watch, hey, we say hello. Yeah. Yeah, we do say hello. We know, yeah. we know words. Yes. Um, yeah, we also sell these on our website. Up for pre-order, they should be should coming round about March time. So it's a Oriental food Oriental workshop. Oriental food workshop. I can read English. <laughs> <laughs> oh well done mum. We are going to yeah do today. Have I said what we're gonna do? Anyway, what are we doing today, Mum? Um it's called Young Child Fried Rice. Or in some places, special fried rice. Now I know special fried rice as with a sauce and like a side of rice, and sometimes it's got egg on top. Sometimes it's got Chinese fried rice pork on top. Um, but a lot of places know special fried rice as I would know it, which is yam chow fried rice, a mixture of everything. Yes. Very very popular. Yes, it is very popular. I think it's one of the most popular dishes. It's an order. Yeah, I'd say yeah. It, you have to, your your chicken and your and your pork and your prawns and your bit and pieces and your rice. Just all nice to have. Yes, them on. yeah, it's nice. Yeah, and your egg as well. Don't forget. Don't don't forget the egg. Yeah. Yes, otherwise it's not be egg fried rice. And it doesn't taste quite right without egg. Without the egg, no, definitely not. We will be doing some healthy recipes soon as well. Healthy versions of takeaway recipes soon, as well as some vegetarian and vegan stuff too, just to, you know, because well, some of you have asked for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Vegetarian, I like vegetarian. I mean, yeah, yeah, I can be a vegetarian. I mean, it's quite a lot of vegetables there. Yeah, I do eat a lot of vegetable. Yes. I don't. I do. As I you do. can tell. Like anyway, um, <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Anyway, we um, should get on with this yam chow fried rice, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> right, so here are all the ingredients for your yam chow fried rice. You've got some frozen, sh ready cooked shrimp. You've got your boiled chicken. Loads of people ask how you make this. It's, you just boil chicken until it's cooked all the way through. We are going to do a prep video on that, but that's basically all you do. Um, we have some Chinese roast pork. We'll link the video for this in the video below. In the video, sorry, in the description below. <laughs> Um, some spring onions, some peas, frozen peas, some white onions, won't use all these, it's just there, chopped up. One beaten egg with a pinch of salt and a pinch of MSG. About 300 grams of overnight rice. So if you want to know how to do overnight rice, you just literally cook your rice, cool it down within 90 minutes, pull it in the fridge with a lid on, and then use it the next day. Third teaspoon of MSG, third teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of, two teaspoons of soy sauce, sorry, and a tablespoon of vegetable oil, and that's for frying. Now, you guys probably seen us do this in the past, we're gonna add the dark soy to this. A lot of people that tell me I'm wrong for doing this, I say, well, until you've owned your own takeaways for over 60 years, then come back and let me know. So the reason we do this is because if you do it during cooking, Basics physics, the liquid in this evaporates and doesn't coat this very well. So you put this in first, and then you put all the, some of your seasonings in, just a pinch of salt and a pinch of MSG just for a bit of seasoning. If you don't do that, you, I mean, you can make fried rice all you want. It's, it's just, that's just how a takeaway does it. It's sheerly um, for two things, time factors and the fact that it coats the rice quicker. You can add it after, it's not an issue. By all means, add it. If that's what works for you, add it after. That's just how we do it in a takeaway. In you go to that soil and get it all mixed up. A couple pinches of salt, a couple pinches of MSG, and as you can see, my hand is, I won't show the other side because it's quite heavily scarred at the moment, is healing very well. Yep, let's get cooking. 
So as always, we're gonna heat up the wok and then add the oil to it. Okay, we're adding the oil in now. Then the pan will be ready, as always, when you start to see smoke coming off the top. Right, so now the wok is hot, we can add some of our onions. Always onions first, I say this every time. It's important because it slightly flavors the oil. And your spring onions. You wanna stir these around till they start browning a little bit. Pan always needs to be on hot. Okay, so now in goes your chicken, chicken your Chinese roast pork. Oh, that looks good though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And your shrimp. You wanna stir this around a little bit? Yeah. Pinch of peas. Yeah. You just wanna make sure that you have your meats in the pan for about 30 seconds before you add your peas. Good. And then after about 20 seconds, you want to add your MSG and your salt. Yep. Give it a stir. You want to try and brown off your MSG a little bit. This won't take long, about 10, 15 seconds, depending on the heat of your pan. Now in goes your egg. And you want to leave it for a second to try and make a omelette. You don't want it stringy. You add your egg after rice, it goes to little bits. Okay, now you can stir it. Perfect. So you, before you add your rice, you wanna actually make sure the egg's fully cooked. Otherwise, like I said, it will tend to go like little bits, won't it, Mum? Yeah. Right, it's ready. And in goes your rice. All of it? Yeah, all of it. All of it. Just let it cook a bit. You let it sit. Like we said before in previous fried rice videos, you want to try and knock these chunks out of like that. And then you just use the back of your wok. Uh, wok? Spatula. <laughs> back of your spatula to tamp them down. If you go into a takeaway, or you can hear the takeaway kitchen, you hear chuk 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 that is them literally cooking fried rice and hitting the bits out of it, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. It, when you first start learning how to do fried rice, I learned very young, obviously, um, your hand aches yeah, for days it's after. In here, yeah. yeah, right there. Because you've got the spatula, because you use the round one, you've got. Yeah, and it's heavy as well. Yes, looking good. Looking great. Yeah. Once your rice gets warm, it's easy to break it off. Yeah, the warmer it gets, the softer it gets. Anything, isn't it? Yeah. Heat, make it soft. Is that is that a new song you just made? I was trying to think of the 70. The oh, heat the... is on. Oh, yeah. Da, 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 da. Heat is on. Who sing it? The, the heat is on guy, I think. No, I think it's something. <laughs> I know that's not his name, but I don't know. I will know that song. Yeah, he will know, when he's won't watching, he? he will say that, yeah. Yeah. Heat is on. I don't think it's 70s though. 80s. It's 80s, yeah, because yeah. you definitely need some sort of montage, yeah. like dancing montage. Yeah. So it's very nearly done. Yeah, you can see the, the rice is uh, going really soft, so like like a, what, a slither of a steak? snake. Yeah. <laughs> Mum just looked at me as if I was like, to say, oh my God, we're on the same page. <laughs> Like a little of the snake, you know, you know how the snake's dancing. How's it dance, Mum? Yeah, that wasn't odd. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is ready now. Right, we're gonna dish this up, and we're actually do we have chilies? Oh, uh, yeah, we do. Okay, so we're gonna put yes. chilies on the top of this and then uh, go to town on oh. this bad boy. Uh, we went to look for chilies, couldn't find any chilies. Sad day. I actually made a chili soy last night, so it's uh, all gone. It's yummy. Looks great actually. Oh, looking forward to that. It's boiling hot. Is that alright? Like yeah, it's fine like that. Yeah. Julia, yeah, just hold it there for a bit. Yeah. 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 It's already 
videoing, Mum. Huh? It's already videoing. Oh, is it? <laughs> anyway, so here it is, the yam chow fried rice, or special fried rice, depending where you're from, doesn't matter. It's called a rose by any other name. It's boiling hot. It's a shame we didn't have chilies. Mmm, it's grimy. Mm. It's a perfect yam chow fried rice. Really good. It's lovely, isn't it? Mmm. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This is really simple to do. It's just about, sorry, it's just about preparation. Everything in Chinese cooking, well, takeaway cooking especially, is all about preparation. And then the actual coming together is really, really, really quick. So yes, this is the yam chow fried rice. Our next video we're gonna be doing is the essentials video. We've actually got another channel coming out. Well, it's up now called Chin and Chew Reviews, where we review products we find in the shops or you guys suggest you want us to review, so we do review it. Um, so yeah, go check that out. So we're filming that video today. Well, but the essentials video is basically the essentials you need to cook at home in a takeaway style. So basic sources you need, stuff like that. And then we'll sell an essentials kit on our website as well, which is www.jangsworkshop.com. If you'd like to support the channel, by all means, please do. We have a Patreon page where for $1 a month you get videos earlier. You also get written um, recipe lists. If you go in the next tier up, you get written um, methods and exclusive videos. We are gonna be doing discounts on our store as well for Patreon levels. Depending on what level you are, you might get a discount, etc., etc., etc. But if you don't want to do that, that's absolutely fine. Just you being here, watching us, watching mum eat. <laughs> Um, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Yummy. It's lovely. Yeah. Also, like to give a shout out to Jamie Watson. Uh, thank you oh, very hi, much. Oh, hi, Jamie. You watching? One of my old school friends who has supported the channel very, very much, Lee. Um, so, thank you very much for that. J Dub. Yeah, J Dub. J Dub. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll be back very, very soon. Happy eating, happy cooking. There it is, there it is. Hashtag chin and chew. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and stuff like that. Links are below. Yeah, hashtag. Yeah, here we go. Here hashtag we go. chin and chew. Do you know what hashtag is? Don't know. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>